We lift up our hearts, O oh Lord, in intercession for all who carry civic and political responsibilities. Grant that putting aside all merely selfish ambition, they may seek to be instruments of your will and carry out your purpose for the welfare of all people. And may they both seek and see your glory in happier human lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. The first thing I want you to do is pray. Pray every way you know how, for everyone you know and for those who are unknown to you. Pray especially for rulers and their governments to rule well so we can be quietly about our business of living simply in humble contemplation. This is the way our Savior God wants us to live. Martin Luther King said in this very building in 1957, words that I think apply to who we are today. It is necessary to stress the urgent need for strong, sincere, and dedicated leadership from the Negro and white communities. In this period of transition and growing social change, there is a dire need for leaders who are calm and yet positive. This is no day for the rabble-rouser, whether he be Negro or white. We must realize that we are grappling with one of the most weighty social problems of the century. Our motto must be freedom and justice through love, not through violence, not through hate, but through love. The end must be reconciliation. The end is redemption. The end is the creation of the beloved community. This type of love and spirit can transform opposers into friends. It is the love of God working in the lives of people. This is the love that may well be the salvation of our civilization. God grant that the leadership of the Negro and white races will remain true to these basic principles. To paraphrase the words of Josiah Gilbert Holland's poem, Wanted, which was written in 1872. God, give us leaders. A time like this demands great leaders. Leaders whom the lust of office does not kill leaders whom the spoils of life cannot buy, leaders who possess opinions and a will, leaders who have honor, leaders who will not lie, leaders who stand before a demagogue and damn his treacherous flatteries without winking, tall leaders, sun-crowned, who live above the fog in public duty and private thinking.
A prayer for leadership. Give us, O oh God, leaders whose hearts are large enough to match the breadth of our own souls. And give us souls strong enough to follow leaders of vision and wisdom. In seeking a leader, let us seek more than development for ourselves, the development we hope for, more than security for our own land, though security we need, more than satisfaction for our wants, though many things we desire. Give us the hearts to choose the leader who will work for other leaders to bring safety to the world, to the whole world. Give us leaders who lead this nation to virtue without seeking to impose our kind of virtue on the virtue of others. Give us a government that provides for the advancement of this country without taking resources from others to achieve it. Give us insight enough ourselves to choose as leaders those who can tell strength from power, growth from greed, leadership from dominance, and real greatness from the trappings of grandiosity. We trust you, great God, to open our hearts to learn from those to whom you speak in different tongues and to respect the life and words of those to whom you entrusted the good of other parts of this globe. We beg you, great God, give us the vision as a people to know where global leadership truly lies, to pursue it diligently, to require it to protect human rights for everyone, everywhere. We ask these things, great God, with minds open to your word and hearts that trust in your eternal care. Amen. Let us now each pray in our own ways as we are guided. Let us pray for the president of the United States. For the senators and representatives at the national level, For the Supreme Court justices and those who are justices in lower courts around our country. or the governor and members of the legislature of the state of Tennessee and all other states in the United States of America.
or the mayor and members of the Metro Council here in Nashville, and all local leaders in your communities. Oh God, may these, our leaders, act with righteousness and justice and in pursuit of peace. May they enact laws and action which protects the needs of the poor and marginalized within our society. May each person in authority Follow the guidance of the Spirit of God that is within each person, including them. Amen. Let justice flow like streams of sparkling water pure, enabling growth, refreshing life, abundant, cleansing, sure. Let righteousness roll on as others' cares we heed an ever-flowing stream of faith translated into deed. So may God's plumb line straight Define our measure true, and justice, right, and peace pervade this world our whole life through. Let us join now in the hymn, God of Love and God of Power. In your hymnals, it's number 578, and we will be singing stanzas one and four. You don't have to sing out loud, and those of you who are watching us virtually, you may sing as well. Let us now join together.
ending prayer will be followed by music by Steve. Eternal God, giver of love and peace, you ask us to offer prayers for our leaders, including those of other nations. Give us grace and courage to do this and to put our prayers into action for justice and peace for all peoples. In your name we pray, amen.